A uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit every single week. Lady Ada is repair of engineer and help you, yes, you find the things you need. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week this week? But this actually by a request somebody mailed in. Um, let's go to the overhead and I'll show what they were asking. So working on this project with the DSi display on the Raspberry Pi uh, computer, and actually now a lot of single board computers because they've all cloned the Raspberry Pi. There are these connectors, the DSi, the Dis display uh, connector, and then the CSI camera um, interface. And one thing that definitely happens, even to me, I'm very careful, is the clip comes out of the connector. And then if the clip comes out, the retaining clip, you can't use it. Um, and it's like very often the little, there's a little ear and the ear snaps and it like flies off the room and the cat grabs it or whatever, or gets swept up. Um, you don't want to throw away your beautiful Raspberry Pi just because it's got this clip. So let's find replacement connectors and then we can always reuse the clips. You can gently remove them and replace them um, for the camera or display interface. They're both the same connector. So let's go to DigiKey. Oh, and I was showing earlier, like there's cool, weird square displays. Check out previous video if you have it. Okay. So what we want um, is the same connector for the CSI or DSI. And those happen to be, and I know they are 15 pin FPC, yeah, flex uh, print circuit board connector, flat flexible connector. We don't want the assembly. We just want the connector itself. Yeah, that's right. It looks like this. I like that they added images. Oh, we have all sorts of options actually let's just go to the whole category and then we'll... um okay so our contacts i think we want the one that has like nineteen thousand available let's see yeah so this is now we're talking yeah there's different configurations and pitches and pinouts okay so the first up i always because we want to actually be able to buy this we're always going to go with the active and number of positions how many pins 15 um we don't want like half loaded. We want like full 15. So we'll just pick 15 and then pitch. Um, for this, you know, you have to know what the pitches. You can use your handy calipers to measure the distance between the pins. There are standard sizes, but like 99% of the time, it's going to be either 0.5 millimeter or one millimeter. Once in a while, there's others, but it's super duper rare. If it's like very close together, it's almost certainly 0.5. And if it's a little farther apart, it's one. And if it's alternating, it's like sometimes 0.3. Um, but it's this one in particular is going to be one. Oh, and then once in a rare while, it's 0.1 inch, like really fat. Those are old, old style. Next up, do we want surface mount or through hole? Well, on the Raspberry Pi, it's a surface mount connector. So you want surface mount and also grab the dash because it could be there's some that aren't, aren't, uh, aren't uh, categorized. And let's also say only in stock because we want to, we want to be able to purchase this today. So this is what we got so far. Whenever I have like you know a couple dozen, that's when I start looking and I'm like, okay, what would we have? Okay, these are starting to look good. One thing is is that the um, for the board I'm designing, I wanted a right angle, so you know it sticks out to the side. But for the Raspberry Pi, if you want to replace the connector, it's a sticking up style, which is um, and you can always see what you you know you're like, oh, this is the style I want, and then look to see um, the mounting type. So that's surface mount, non right angle. So let's go to surface mount, not right angle. Okay, so only 10 options. So now we're now we're really talking. Okay, so then you can see that, the, you know, there's a lot, still a lot of options. One thing is that some of these connectors, you see they don't have a retaining clip. You can see the retaining clip here and here it's a little piece that you pull out and then it it kind of jams the cable in place make sure it doesn't pull out too easily which you know depending on some, some designs you want the cable to be able to pull out very easily so the cable doesn't get damaged um, and it's easy to insert but in this particular case we want it to have the retaining clip so if we look um, this is called a slide lock so these two here are slide lock this, see, it looks like it has a slide lock, but I guess it doesn't. So we're going to go with slide lock. 
Okay. And now we're down to our three options. So um, here's the three options. And then what I do is actually just look at the connector. So let's um, let's go to the uh, overhead real fast and we'll look at what the what the connector looks like. So, uh, you know, it looks like it's kind of flat because, you know, we want to match the connector as much as possible. And it's got little ears that stick out the side over here. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, computer. Oh, um, so looking at these, you know, this one actually looks the closest. The coloring is also the same too, which by the way, but sometimes, you know, um, you might not get the right color. The color doesn't matter. It's just like it to help you indicate which one you think it is. But it's got the little ear sticking out and it's definitely got, it doesn't have any like extra notches or anything. So I think that this is going to be the closest and it's only 50 cents. So if you want to fix your Raspberry Pi, you know, um, I wouldn't necessarily place a whole order just for this connector, but let's say you have a bunch of them that you want to fix. You get a 10 pack or if you're ordering stuff from DigiKey anyways, toss this in and then you'll have it for when your Raspberry Pi connector, if it, you know, you pull it and you break it you'll have these ready to go um, to repair it at that time. I always, I have a couple of these always, um, and I have to fix the one on my desk because I, I broke the clip. But this is my recommendation. So try it out. FFC 3820 15G from GCT. Good option, 50 cents. And that's a great search.